Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Chris Hammond. I'm the uh, chief scientist for uh, Narrative Science. Um, narrative Science has a technology uh, called Quill, uh, which takes data, uh, any kind of data, financial data, uh, marketing data, healthcare data, transactional data, uh, analyzes that data, uh, as long as it's structured, analyzes that data, uh, figures out what's going on with it, and transforms it into a narrative explanation, into a story based upon that data. Which is to say, we take data like this. This is uh, data describing, uh, I think as you can see, obviously, um, a, uh, a youth hockey game. Uh, there's the team data, there's the game data, there's some seasonal data, there's data about other teams. We take this data and we turn it into this. Uh, a game recap written in natural language, in English, that is absolutely indistinguishable from a piece of text that would be written by a human being. And so when you read the Rio Grande killer bees were firing on all cylinders against the Laredo Bucks, Zach Pearson was all over the ice for Rio Grande Valley as he tallied two goals and one assist in the win. It was all written by a machine, a machine that looked at the data, figured out what was going on in the world, and then explained it to you. So why are we doing this? Well, we all had a great insight at one point, and that was if we got information about what was going on in the world, we could make better decisions. And the way we thought we would get information is we would meter and monitor the world. And we get more and more data. And so we'd get things like spreadsheets, wonderful machine-readable data in the form of XML, in JSON, in a lovely blob state. Um, we took that data and we turned it into charts and graphs and visualizations and dashboards. The unfortunate thing is that this is data. It was never what we were looking for. And for every single one of these, you have to look at it, try to figure out what's going on with it, and on your own, figure out the insight. That is, figuring out what's happening in the world and how you're going to respond to it. But that's not what we wanted. We actually wanted the insight itself. We wanted to be able to answer questions about how my sales team is doing. Uh, do I have the right investments? Is this company credit worthy? How is my site performing? We wanted to have those questions answered for us. We didn't want to have to look at the data. And so that's what Quill does. Quill takes data, structured data, unambiguous numbers and symbols, interprets that data based upon business, driving, business needs and the goals of the information that you're trying to communicate, and turns that data into knowledge. Knowledge that takes the form of narratives that actually describe what's happening in the world. Which means we can do this. And this is actually why I'm here today. This is a gift for you. We can take data that's associated, for example, with Google Analytics. If you have a site and you've decided to put Google Analytics in place, you can look at all of the data associated with that site. What would be more interesting, though, would be to get a report, an actual natural language description of what's happening in that site that tells you a little bit about the overall behavior, look, tells you something about the things that have changed, the pages that are working, where people are coming from. Takes, actually provides you with an image of what's happening, not from the point of view of the data, not from the point of view of just charts and graphs, but an actual description. And that's what we do. So there's no point in doing this, building this system, which we call Quill Engage, by the way, uh, if we don't give it to you. And so if you have a site, you should just go here. And you just sign up. And every week from that point on, you will get a report, a report that you can just read. And it's not a report that you have to figure out, because it's not data. It's not a report you have to interpret because it's not a chart. It's a report that you simply have to read. Thank you.